If, like me, you love playing PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games because you think they're the best games around, but you've pulled out your trusty PlayStation 2 and it's made this horrible noise. Ah! Well, don't throw it in the bin. I'll show you how to fix it. So you're going to have to pull it apart to fix this problem. Before you do, make sure you unplug it. Flip her over. On the back, on the bottom, sorry, you'll find eight squares. They all need to be removed. Screwdriver, let's ping them on out. Four rubber ones and four plastic ones. They all pop out rather easily. Just get them out with your fingernails if you like it. Now that's exposed eight Phillips screws, which are all sorts of different lengths, so take note of where they come out of. Now before you can unscrew it and take it completely off, you need to remove a sticker. Now, this is your warranty sticker. Just here. Now, don't worry about removing it, because your warranty is long finished, trust me. So peel that off or break it, you can either peel the whole thing off, like so, or you could just cut it, but, now look how nifty that is, as soon as you peel it off, the word void appears all over it, clever, the things Sony think of, eh, right, now that you got rid of the sticker, undo all your screws, A fairly small Phillips, or if you're impatient like me, get the impact driver out. Whip them all out. And these two screws are smaller than those first four. Just keep them all in line so you know which ones come out of which. And that one, different to all the rest. The front one. Right, now you've got to open her up. Now with this being the silver model, it's a bit easier to open up than the old original black ones. Um, you can just ping it off. And on the black ones, you've just got to be careful. The power and eject buttons are often attached in here, so the ribbon and everything, you've got to be careful and you just need to flop it over to the side so you can break that. Right, next we need to take this cover off. So, grab a fine Phillips screwdriver, you could do it with a flat slotted one as well. And undo those two screws, which in this case are very tight. tight little screws. These two clips here need to just be pinged. And there we have it. It's a bit dusty in there. A bit of dust on the inside which is great. Now we need to take this tray out, get it out of the way so we can access all the laser assembly a bit better. Ah, Final Fantasy 7 eh? Right, so I just need to briefly plug it back in. And once it's plugged in, just eject the tray. It's that horrible noise. Right, now that the tray's out, I can turn her off and unplug her again. Right. Now, your issue is likely to be this here. 
when the laser slides up and down that way, it's driven by this worm gear along the side and this tiny little tooth here that sits on it and runs the laser back and forth. If that wears out a little bit, when this worm drive spins, the laser won't move. Now there's still plenty of grease here, as you can see on the worm drive there. Everything else looks well greased. There's a bit of dust on the pad there, but now all I've done is shift the laser, drag it back that way, because I don't think it was very worn. It's just jumped out of place. So all I did was slide it down a few clicks and turn her on and away she went. Perfect. But that may not always be the case. If it's if that doesn't work, if you try it in a few different positions and it doesn't work, just you need to bend this down that way. So to do that, you need to ping off the laser here by pinging pinging up these two metal tangs. And they will release the whole laser mechanism here, which is the laser here and these rails and you can just tilt it out and then you have to remove the ribbon from the back but you don't really need to remove the ribbon if all you're going to do is bend this so you can just take it out push that down a bit with your finger just bend it down put it back on try it again don't bend it too much just a tiny bit if it doesn't work try it a little bit more and that's all it needs so I'll put the lid back on this and I'll show you how it sounds so with the lid just sitting back on, I'll reset this, you can hear it. So it's starting up. And look at that. Final Fantasy VII lives again. So, simple as that, so simple, all I did slide the laser mechanism down. It had just jumped off that cog and got out of alignment. All it needed was to be clicked forward a couple of clicks. Done. So simple. Try it yourself. Don't throw your PlayStation 2 away. Thanks for watching. Now this is the silver model which is a lot easier to open up than the black, the old black ones. This is a newer, newer. Hardly any of them are new now. Let's fucking start that again.